Let's talk about greenwashing and the appeal to nature fallacy. I have been trying to make a video about greenwashing for a couple of months now and it's pretty difficult for me to talk about it because I have been the victim of greenwashing myself. So let me remind you of what appeal to nature fallacy is. Appeal to nature is the belief that whatever comes from nature is beneficial and helpful and cannot possibly harm you. Uh, the evidence, however, points to the fact that not everything that comes from nature is safe, not everything that comes from nature is good for you, and many of the human-made or artificial objects that we consume on the daily basis are completely safe and highly beneficial. To someone who has been alienated from nature by the modern capitalist conditions we live in, it is pretty easy to fall to appeal to nature fallacy. Because we feel that we have been separated from nature, so now we want to go back to it, and now we perceive everything that comes from it as great. And it's hard for us to see the full picture. And the full picture is nature is neither inherently good or bad because nature is a human construct. Whatever exists in the world cannot be defined by a single term. And we people have made the term nature for ease and we like to personify things. So personifying nature as our collective mother has been helpful to many of us in our understanding of nature and the natural occurrences. Going back to greenwashing, greenwashing is a marketing ploy that is used to convince people that the products that are made with nature in mind or that are made from natural, organic components are somehow superior to artificial, man-made products. <laughs> and um, there might be some truth to that in some cases. There is evidence that usually not much difference can be found between artificial and natural components because we humans do take our materials for creating whatever it is we need from nature. And I'm not talking obviously about some, some more modern technologies which I'm not too familiar with. I'm going to try and not overgeneralize too much. But greenwashing is harmful because it plays on someone's feelings. It manipulates one into believing that this product with the label natural on it is um, worth buying. And oftentimes it is priced much more highly than the regular product that is very comparable to the one offered. So I used to think that it was true. <laughs> And I used to try and buy the products that were labeled as green and clean and natural. And I have been disappointed because by comparing the ingredients of those supposedly natural and good for you products to the regular products available on the market, I was proven to be wrong. And I have wasted my resources because of this marketing ploy. And some of those products that I consumed thinking that they were natural, therefore they could not possibly harm you, actually harmed me. <laughs> and uh, again, I was so frustrated with the fact that those businesses that promoted their products didn't actually care to explain what those components were and how they were supposed to affect one's body. And I felt cheated. I felt that I have been manipulated into using something that wasn't even properly studied. And I've also felt like a guinea pig. So greenwashing alongside with the appeal to nature fallacy are a form of emotional bias. So we should always watch out for it because when our feelings are concerned, we can't fully trust them because they change very quickly and they're not a reliable source of data. So we should always double check what it is we're consuming, 
we should always question ourselves why we're consuming one thing over the other and we should question our choices and what influences our choices because sometimes it may be the specifically targeted ad that makes us feel a certain way and we may chase that feeling and it may actually occur for a while we may feel good about ourselves for being green and not consuming anything artificial but ultimately it's not gonna last at least it's highly unlikely that it's gonna last so beware of greenwashing and appeal to nature fallacy and let me know if you have also been a victim of these two